Hey everybody, Jamie Jan, non-toxic farm mom, in the back of my car. I just came home from a quick trip to Walmart. If you know me, you know I hate all things Walmart. Um, I hate big box stores. I love shopping online at our wellness store um, because it's all made in America, non-toxic, all the things, saving money, budget friendly, all the things I'm trying to share with all of you to help you have non-toxic on a budget. But I had to go to Walmart today because there are just some things that I have to go there for. And I went down the sale aisle, which is usually pretty dangerous. But you guys, I have to show you what I found. It's still in the back of my car. Haven't unloaded it. I was like, I have got to jump on and make a video for my people who probably think that I fell off the face of the planet. So if you are one of the 80 people that has subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I started my channel and then I kind of fell off the face of the earth, but I'm still here and I still have a desire and a passion to share non-toxic things on a budget for your families. And so this is something I think will help you. I found this. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I found this. So you guys know if you follow along with the Grow Your Own Food series, that part of my non-toxic journey is our garden, okay? Everybody should have a garden, okay? We should not be relying on the grocery stores. Um, we definitely want to do something. Even if you have an apartment, you could grow some veggies on your um, patio or your balcony. And so my desire is to share these little tips and tricks with you. Well, I love to start my own seeds. You saw that when I shared the Grow Your Own Food series. This year, that didn't happen. This was not such a great garden year for our family for several reasons, but I am back in action and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I still have time to do a fall garden. And so I was actually going down the clearance aisle just to see if there were any seeds or anything I could find. And it was kind of on my way back from the plant section that I was checking out at Walmart just to see. I like to see if there's anything still on sale and you guys will not believe what I found, okay? And I have already gone on the websites and compared things. So if you have a Walmart near you, you wanna go check out the clearance section ASAP if you want to be able to start your own seeds and do things economically. So let me show you what I found. I'm just gonna turn my camera around. I'm out here without my Okay, I'm gonna start another clip and then I'm gonna turn my camera around. I'm out here without my timer or anything like that, totally being just, um, you know, real life here. But I want you to see these things. Okay, okay, look what I found. Okay, so if you guys followed along in my Grow Your Own Food series, you know that I do not believe in paying astronomical amounts to do anything. I mean, I remember watching my mom start seeds in, you know, egg cartons and whatever pots we had, and she would put them like on the dryer to keep them warm and things like that. So you don't have to have these things, but my goodness, when you find these things at the price that I found them, it's worth it. So I will be adding these. I do have one um, little glow light that I use that's kind of kind of works and kind of doesn't. But you guys, this is a whole modern indoor LED bamboo grow house. Excuse my dirty fingers. I was just planting mums. Um, okay. So I got these for $35. I got two of them. They were $74 originally at Walmart. If you go on the Ferris Fairy Morse um, website, they're 80 um, on Amazon right now, they're 66. So I encourage you to go to your um, closest Walmart and check them out, okay? You might even be able to go online and like go ahead and pay for them and then go do the pickup thing. Um, then you don't even have to like, you know, go in. Um, but go check them out. I got two, like I said, they're designed for to fit their seed growing trays. But y'all, you know me, like I save trays. Um, and you could make all kinds of things work in here. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I got two of them. All right. So uh, my store in Travelers Rest, South Carolina still had four. All right. So if you're watching this and you're in Travelers, South, Travelers Rest, South Carolina or near there, you should go. Um, but it's so cool. I'm so excited. But look what else I found. You guys, I had seen these at the beginning of the um, planting season this year. And I kind of blew them off because I was like, oh, that's silly. But they're on sale. So these are pre-seeded plugs. Okay. And they come with their own cute little greenhouse here. Let me see if I can show you one. Look, they come with 
their own cute little greenhouse. Can you see that? So at the beginning of the summer, I think these were like eight bucks or something like that. It looks like Walmart marked them down to $4.97 and then $2. Um, but you guys, there's, if they all grow, even if they don't grow, there's six potential plants in here, right? And if you buy plants, like if you go to a greenhouse or whatever and you buy plants or even Home Depot or anything, you guys, I could not find a tomato plant this year for under $3.98 per plant. That's a lot of money if you're doing a big garden. So these are $2 a pack right now at Walmart. Let me show you what I got. I got cherry tomato. I got cilantro. I got sweet peas, which I will start super, super early because you have to here in South Carolina. I got cute little cucumbers. I got two things of zucchini. So potential for 12 zucchini plants for $4. Really? Um, some butterhead lettuce, which I'm tempted to see if I can um, go ahead and get in the ground or grow some now and get the plants in the ground because they might work here if we don't get, a, if we get a later frost. Tomatoes, their beef master, and some little sugar baby watermelons. Okay, so I went on, I did some research for you guys. This brand, um, if you go to TAC or TASC dot com or I think it's actually T-A-S-C-L-L-C.com. These are non-GMO seeds. Huh. Okay. So that was, I looked before I bought because I wasn't going to buy if they weren't. They're non-GMO seeds and on Home Depot's website, they're $9.98 for a six pack right now. Um, Walmart, like I said earlier in the year, I believe they were six or eight dollars. Looks like they marked them down to five. Now they're two. My Walmart had quite a few left, you guys. So, what an amazing way to save some money. And yes, I know it always says on the back or right here, these seeds should be used within season of purchase. Yeah. Okay. Actually, it says contains a minimum of 12 seeds. So maybe I'll get more than 12 cherry tomato plants or more than six cherry tomato plants. Regardless, you can't buy plants next year at the beginning of the season for this price. So this would be a great way to get started, save some money and start some old vegetables. You could do, you guys, you could do all of these plants minus maybe the watermelon um, on a patio. Um, I grew zucchini in a pot this year. I just use a tomato, um, a tomato cage around it and it vined up. Um, so you could do these in a pot. You might be able to get away with this too. Like if you did the same thing, put a little cage, what a great way to get ready for spring. So give yourself a gift and head over to your nearest Walmart and check out their sales aisle. Um, because you might, might find some good bargains. I mean, really, who doesn't love a bargain? And when it comes to um, being able to grow healthy, non-toxic food for our family and keep ourselves out of the produce aisle in the grocery store, I would go for it, okay? You only need a small little area in your home to set up this little grow, grow um, greenhouse, so you could do that. And remember, always save things like this. I know I talk about this in my other videos, but these, I just planted some mums. I saved the containers because as, as these grow, you can transplant them into bigger pots until they're ready to go out in the garden. And you can see all of that on all of my grow your own food series videos. Okay. Um, and you can find those on my YouTube channel. I will link them below. Um, I will try to link the websites for both of these things. Um, both the seed plugs and the greenhouse. Um, I'll, I'll link the, I will link their regular, um, website so you can go check out the information but head to your nearest walmart now go now heck maybe yours is even discounted even more depending on where you live because if you live in a colder state they might really be trying to get rid of these okay so you might even find a better deal than i did all right you guys thanks for following along hit the subscribe button if you don't already subscribe to non-toxic farm mom and hit the like leave me a comment tell me if you're going to try to grow your own garden or at least a few vegetables next year tell me if you find a good deal all right if you find these at your warmer and they're even better comment below so people who follow along can go see where where you live maybe they live close to you and they can get an even better deal than i got here in traveler's dress south carolina all right. Happy shopping. Happy saving money. Happy non-toxic living. Love you guys. Bye.